The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself, and I see you shine in every color. Rest. Going to meet a friend for Sunday brunch, and the sun is shining. actually come for pistachio croissant and pistachio olive oil cake but they said that it will be available at 12.45 so we've currently picked up some stuff we're going to eat that and then walk back again at 12.45 for the goods I have a little story time for you guys. I have become the kind of person who doesn't impulsively buy anything anymore. I sleep through the thought of getting something and if the thought still persists after a couple of days, then I think about it and I see if it's really necessary, only then I go get it. But this is one cup slash coffee slash tea mug that I saw in winners the other day. I think it's a part of the spring collection and I absolutely loved it. I cannot stop thinking about that coffee mug. Um, so I'm in a fix if I should go get it but uh, you know what we're gonna go to the store and get the coffee mug. You guys are gonna see how cute their mug collection is. It is so irresistible. Thank you so much. Take a picture? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a video. <laughs> oh, okay. Guys, just look at this. It is so cute. And in my defense, I feel like it's it's all about little things. I know this cup cannot solve all my problems, but it's all about little things which make it a little easier to exist in this world so in my defense this is worth it i have quite a few mugs and i wanted to dedicate one whole drawer for for my mugs so let's organize my mugs let me give you a quick rundown of where i got these mugs from this is from dollarama this is from Dollarama as well and this is also from Dollarama. This is the first ever mug that I bought in Canada. I think this was during my initial days. This is from Walmart and this is from Winners. You guys already saw me buy it. <clears throat> this is from Winners as well. This is from Temu. I really like this one. This is so cute. And this is something that I painted on my own. So I went to this 
pottery painting studio where I painted this and this is a gift from my friends for my birthday. Let's clean our stove top. how much I love this song I mean it's like a 10 minute song and I know the entire lyrics like it's all too well by Taylor Swift I think this has to be one of my most favorite songs of Taylor Swift I mean the most favorite song of Taylor Swift anyways I just had my dinner and I'm craving something sweet so I was this close to ordering from Uber Eats but I'm like no I'm not doing that so let's make our own dessert. You only need two ingredients, white chocolate and some strawberries. I mean, you can basically use any chocolate of your choice and strawberries. Let's wash our strawberries. I'm sure you guys know the right way to wash strawberries. But if you don't, I'm going to teach you today. Strawberries, baking soda. Then I'm going to be using some white vinegar. I love the fizz that this makes. I'm going to show you. It's gross but do you see all the gunk that's coming out? After you've soaked it in this solution for about 10 minutes, you can wash it off with water now. I am going to melt my chocolate now. Melted chocolate, oops. <laughs> Melted chocolate is ready. And now we dip our strawberries into melted chocolate and then we freeze it. Wait, I just realized it's going to take a while for them to be ready and I don't know if I can control my cravings. How long do I have to refrigerate chocolate covered strawberries? 
strawberries. Oh wow, it says 15 minutes. I think I can wait for 15 minutes. The actual way to freeze them is to put them on parchment paper, but I do not have parchment paper com currently, but I do not have parchment paper currently. Wow, that was a tongue twister. So I'm just gonna place them on like a plate and put them in the freezer. I just got ready to go on my daily walk and this is something that I absolutely look forward to every single day. I was also reading an article the other day which talks about how good daily walks are for you. This was by a neuroscientist. He says, I go on walks every single day, here's why. Walking three times a week thickens the tissue connecting the left and the right parts of our brain. This change predicts better memory. So yeah, I honestly feel like walking is something that I really, really enjoy. I make sure to cover 10,000 plus steps every single day. It was a really busy day, so my step count is very, very low. It's 200 currently, so I'm going to come back and report to you guys on how many steps I've covered. By the way, this app is called Activity Tracker. A lot of you have already asked me this. This is there on App Store. I'm not sure if Android Play Store has it, but this one's great. Anyways, time to go on a walk. I just got back home and I covered 11,500 steps and I was out for about an hour and a half so this is your sign to go on daily walks because trust me it'll do so good to your body mind and soul so yeah 